What's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video we'll be working with the radio buttons. By the end of this video this is the output that you will get. Whenever you click on any of the radio button a toast message will pop up over here indicating which radio button you have selected. So if suppose I click on the electronics radio button you can see a toast by the name of electronics is been shown over here. Similarly if I click on civil a civil toast has been shown over here. So guys, let's start with the program. So I've basically gone ahead and created a new application by the name of ED radio buttons. Next inside this application, I'll change the relative layout to linear layout. Now by default, the orientation of linear layout is horizontal. So I'll change the orientation to vertical. Now inside the design tab, I need to add radio buttons. So as you can see the radio button component is over here but I directly cannot place the radio button components on the screen. I need to place all the radio buttons inside a component called as a radio group. So I'll scroll down and I'll search for a component called as radio group. So as you can see inside the containers I have this radio group component. So I'll drag this component on the screen. Next I'll change the width and height of this radio group. I'll set the width to match parent and I'll set the height to somewhere around 300. Now as you can see this radio group tag doesn't contain an id. So I'll type id that is android colon id equal to at the rate plus id and I'll give this an id of r group. Now once I've set a radio group inside this I'll place the radio button. So I'll put four radio buttons inside this. Next, I'll rename this button according to the branches of engineering. So I'll double click on each of the radio buttons and change the text of these radio buttons. Now, next, as you can see inside the text tab, all the radio buttons are inside the radio group tag and all of them have a respective id you can see this radio button by the name of mechanical has an id of radio button the next radio button by the name of electronics has an id of radio button 2 and so on and so forth next i'll set a common on click listener by the name of rb click to all the radio buttons now i'm setting the on click listener only to the radio buttons not to the radio group so I'll set this with an on click listener of RB click. Okay. I'll copy this and I'll paste it somewhere in between the electronics radio button. Next, I'll paste it inside the other two radio buttons as well. So now let me explain you why I've set the same on click attribute to all the radio buttons. But since I've set an onclick attribute in the activityMain.xml, I'll also declare an onclick listener method by the name of rbclick in the main activity.java file. So, using this method, we'll find out which radio button is clicked. Now, whenever the user clicks on any of the radio button, since the radio button have the attribute by the name of rbclick, the rbclick onclick listener method will be called from the main activity.java. Now, inside this method, I'll use the integer data type and give it some variable name. Next, I'll set it equal to rb.getChecked radio button id. The getChecked radio button id is a predefined function in Android which finds out which radio button is checked or selected from a particular radio group. And that's why we are using this method with the radio group variable that is RG. So because of this line, the ID of the selected radio button will be stored in the integer variable and then on the next line will store the selected radio button's ID inside the radio button variable. Now after storing the ID inside the radio button variable, we'll then use a toast to display the text of the selected radio button. So guys, using this technique, we do not have to declare four different variables for each radio button as one radio button variable is sufficient to find out which radio button is selected or checked. So once you have understood this concept, 
Next, let's declare the radio button and the radio group data types inside the main activity.java. So I'll first type the radio group. I'll give this a variable name RG. Next, I'll declare the radio button and I'll give this a variable name RP. Now, after declaring the data types, next, I'll store the radio group's ID inside the RG variable. So I'll write down RG. RP. Now, I won't be storing the radio button IDs inside this RB variable. Instead, I will now define the RB on click listener method. So I'll write down public void RB click view V. Next, I'll import the view component. I'll press Alt Enter. Now, after defining the RB click method, I will now write int radio button ID equal to, and then as explained earlier, I'll write RG, which is the variable for the radio group dot. Now, as you can see, I've got this method, which is get checked radio button ID because I'm now using the RG variable of the radio group. So I'll choose this. I'll put a semicolon. Now, after getting the ID of the button, I'll now store its value inside the radio buttons variable. Now, below this line, I'll type down RB equal to radio button find view by id and this time instead of writing r dot id dot radio button id i will just type down radio button id and i'll put a semicolon over here now on this line we have basically stored the radio buttons id inside the rb variable the reason why i've written radio button id instead of writing r dot id dot radio button is because this radio button id is a variable inside which the id of your radio buttons are stored that is if any of the radio button is pressed then the ids are selected here and they are stored in this variable over here and then we are just using this variable over here in simple terms an id by the name of radio button id doesn't exist inside your activity main dot xml so that's why we cannot write r dot id dot radio button id on the other hand as you can see over here for storing the id of the radio group i have written r dot id dot radio group because an id by the name of r group actually exists inside the radio group tag but all the radio buttons have different ids that is radio button radio button 2 radio button 3 so on and so forth so now a program basically understands which radio button is selected but we also need to write a code to display which radio button is selected now for displaying which radio button is selected i'll use a toast so i'll write the code for the toast that is toast dot make text get base context and separated by comma i'll now write down rb dot get text now this line of code that is rb dot get text will fetch the text which is stored inside the rb variable and separated by comma i'll again write down toast dot length long and lastly dot show so guys i've basically finished in the code next i'll click on the play button and wait for the application to load on the emulator the application ed underscore radio button is loaded in my emulator so let's check the output now if i click on the electronics radio button you can see over here the electronics toast is been popping up over here and similarly if i click on the computer's radio button you can see the computer toast is been shown over here so guys that basically winds up our video and i hope from this video you would have understood how to work with radio buttons in android if you like this video please feel free to hit the like button and as always do click on the subscribe button for learning android from scratch thank you guys and i'll catch you in the next video